Hello, this is Victor at RestoreYourMercedes.com. This video is for David in Michigan. 500E 9092 EGAS module and throttle body. So let's just, I just want to show you, David, what's going on here with your units and what I think about all this. And um, what I see is now what you see. Now, the throttle body was worked on, it was pre butchered. I don't see any kind of financial reasons to fix this because this is just way too much work now it's gonna basically be um, all rebuilt with all other parts installed it just doesn't make any sense it's just too much labor um, now see somebody tried to connect this line maybe it was damaged during the cover removal I don't know but then Shyamara is cracked the case is cracked it was taken apart you got ribbon cables As you can see some soldering done there's a little bit of a loose solder right there, as you can see. So this was probably done with two high powered, higher powered soldering iron, which burnt it all up. There's a little chip over here, not critical, but still. The actual guide here is uh, broken. It was soldered together. That is not great as well. Um, what else? Potentia well, potentiometer is oil contaminated you got scratches here on the surface these are the sliders that I see so what what's going on inside I don't even want to know I don't hear potentiometer second potentiometer engagement so I don't know what's going on there but again it doesn't make sense to take it all apart it's just too much work um, on this side here we got some rust over there and you also have you know the wires that go there that's for the ribbon cable there's a little damage over there I don't know if it was corrected or not so it's just it's just too it's just too much it's just too much and even if I put it all back together it's basically just leaving the case and the rest is pretty much going to be different throttle parts so I don't see it being a good idea it was also overheated because this color is very very brown well I've seen more overheated units well, this one is it's been running hot well 500t you know they run hot i understand that but this one is like that so that is the throttle situation i'm gonna put these covers back on just keep it together and let's look at your e-gas module see what it's doing the e-gas module is also dead it was also taken apart somebody opened it up to see what's going on i personally do not see anything wrong but again in terms of finances for me to go through this unit to find some sort of like uh, a resistor like this broken like that you know something of that in that nature you know how many you have here it's gonna take forever to figure this all out and I don't really work on easy gas modules I work on V12s because they're differently made um, so here is the activation just want to show you what it's doing uh, so here are the cables as you can see this is my test rig it is connected to your e-gas and just want to show you what it's doing this is a good working throttle because we cannot even check the e-gas with the throttle that you send me that thing is rigged I mean it could have been shorted out accidentally or not I don't know and it burned out the e-gas very highly plausible so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the power on there. That's my power supply there. So we'll put the power. You'll see what's going on. Here it goes. One more time. And one more time. That's it. So basically, as you see it, it tries to activate the throttle. It clicks the coil and moves the throttle. It moves the motor but it does not keep throttle active so basically the tracking of potentiometer is not working properly so I'm thinking somebody shorted it out there and the, the tracking is off therefore EGAS shuts right down but that's because it probably shorted the, the, the sensitive circuits on EGAS the chips that actually track the voltages they're very low voltages there so 2.4 2.5 it's very low so that's shorted out somewhere somehow or one of those pins that was soldered kind of poorly was touching the ground you give 12 volts to 0.5 volt circuit obviously something is gonna blow it's just way too much 
Um, so I don't see anything apparently burnt in here. And usually you never do uh, on these e-gases on the V8s. And again, this is the rare one with these chips, not even soldered. They're like embedded, so they're replaceable chips. But all of this is old school stuff. And uh, finding any of, any of these would be pretty much highly, highly unlikely. Um, new ones, maybe. I mean, the used ones, maybe. But again, in terms of finances, to redo this all, I doubt that's going to make any sense. So, I have a solution for you. I'm going to call you. Uh, we're going to discuss it all once I get the setup um, for replacements and then um, you should be good to go. But uh, unfortunately, as sad as it is, E-gas is bad, throttle is bad, both units and that's pretty much the reason why you had that 500T sitting. Somebody sold it because they couldn't figure this all out because both units are bad. So if both units are bad, you fix one the other one doesn't work you fix the other one the first one doesn't work so you keep running in circles but at least now we know that you have both parts not properly working the power goes in here you know the throttle clicks obviously you hear it so that's not the problem it's something in, on boards okay so this is a quick update for you um, I'm working on the other setup for your car once it comes in, I'll test it all out. I'll give you a call and we'll move on. All right, so this is it. This is Victor, thestorymercedes.com. Thanks for watching.